this is part three where we will start going over moving the robots and some other models that we're going to import into the system. We're going to start out by bringing in the fence and the guarding that will go around the entire system. Next we'll bring in the common base in the equipment of the power sources and the welders and stuff that will be on. Now we need to bring in the risers so we can get those plays to put the robots on and we're going to start with robot one and it'll be our riser R1. Next we're going to copy that riser rather than just importing it again and we're going to rename it to R2 and then we will move it to the appropriate location. And once this is done, then we will relocate the robots to the risers starting out by moving parent of R1 to R1's riser. Once we move parent then we can go ahead and set position on R1 to that riser. And the reason you want to set the uh, parent-child relationship between the robot and the riser to be easier to move so if you have to relocate those all you have to do is just move the riser and R1 or R2 will move with the appropriate riser. Next I want to relocate R2 to its riser. First I'm going to move parent and I'm going to go ahead and move that one And it helps if you have features to line up, like in this case, the mounting holes on the robot base to the mounting holes on the robot riser. Then you can visually just line those up and get them centered. Next, I am just going to be moving both robots back to a perch position or what we would call like a safe home where they will stay to give more room when we start programming for uh, clearance on the positioner. First I get R1 located where I would like it and then all I'm going to do is just duplicate those positions on R2. 